Terry Butcher wrote about belief in the match programme, and that is exactly what it looked like his players had. Captain Scott Leach with a snapshot just after a minute. Derek Adams had the chance to put his side ahead a few minutes later. If it hadn't been for the attentions of keeper Broto, that would have been 1-0. Libby took the lead with their first 40 into their opponent's half through Lee Makel, and it came straight out of the How to Score Spectacular Goals handbook. Eugene Daddy with the knockdown, and Lee Makel catching this ball perfectly with his left foot. Might think this is goal of the match, but keep watching. Into the second half, the heavens opened, and the goals started to pour in. Sharif on as a sub. 2-0. Showing a lot of power. Stevie Woods just off his line. Good finish. The two goals to the good Livingston started to take control. And very soon, it was three. Eugene Daddy using power, and a bit of persuasion with the shoulder as well. David Bingham with the run, takes away the defenders, and Sharif happy with the tap-in. Khalid Kemis was making his first start this season after having a foot injury, and he got a belted as well. Not match fit yet, but a wonderful goal. Where Motherwell starting to believe again? While well, David Bingham was just about to burst their bubble. Eugene Daddy again involved, and Bingham started to go for a lazy run down the left, and then, was it a cross? No, it was goal number four. Bingham did admit after the match that he did try and cross the ball to the back post, but we don't need to see that, do we? The Motherwell fans started to leave in their droves, and it's just as well because they missed the fifth goal. This is another fine finish, this time David Zouza. Libby's second win in as many weeks and they move up to ninth in the table. Jim Leishman's back in the dugout and he's very, very happy to be there. It's, it's great, that's where the atmosphere is and you know, everyone on um, Davy and John, myself, we all work together and uh, it, it's great to be down where, where it must be.